Oh, sorry, I was just checking my Twitter. You know, it's taken millions of years for us humans to leave the sea, grow legs, stop clubbing each other to death and walk tall. So why are we suddenly so eager for our next evolution to be an oversized thumb and an arch back so that we become much more efficient at our new favourite thing, flicking through our phones? We've become a species obsessed with what's on a tiny screen in the palm of our hands rather than the lamppost that we're about to walk into or our own very real lives that aren't the polished and perfect look at me versions we post on Facebook. Have a think about this today. When was the last time you really took in the sights and smells of the world around you on Instagram without posting it on a filter? Or when was the last time you gazed into the eyes of your partner and actually told them that you love them rather than declaring it as a Facebook update? And how many times this summer holiday have you actually watched your children play through their own eyes rather than through the viewfinder of your camera app? And more importantly, did they notice? I bet some of you have got one eye on your phone as you watch this, worried that you're going to miss the next hilarious cat picture or the latest idiotic rant from Katie Hopkins. But once your battery finally dies and gives up the ghosts, will you be able to say that you actually lived your life, savouring every experience? Or will you be relying on iCloud for your memories? There's a great big world out there for us to play in, explore and experience. And it's available for free and you don't need Wi-Fi as long as you turn this off.